30 million people. This is the number of Americans who suffer from an eating disorder, according to the National Eating Disorder Association. That doesn't even include the people who are undiagnosed. I'm here today to break the social stigma and glamorization that is attached to the diagnosis of an eating disorder. Now, a common misconception is that eating disorders have a specific look. The definition of an eating disorder is any of several psychological disorders characterized by serious disturbances of eating behavior. As you can see from the definition, it did not once mention a physical look that someone needs to have. Society takes this disorder and glamorizes it, promoting it as something good. Then, people take what they see on social media and set it for a standard for all sufferers. To put this into perspective, I conducted an experiment using 24 various test subjects. As we all know from elementary school, combining blue and yellow paint will create green. Using this knowledge, I asked each subject to create a shade of green. Then, they each used a random amount of blue and yellow paint and mixed it until they got their desired shade. Then, they fully covered a paper square with their paint. After collecting everyone's squares, I put them together in a random order. As you can see from this photo, no two shades are alike. Just by looking at this, you cannot tell who they are, what they look like, or anything else about their lives. This applies in life too. Just by looking at someone or something, you cannot tell anything about their lives. I specifically chose this example to represent eating disorders. You cannot tell if someone has an eating disorder just by looking at them. You still don't believe me? Let's take a deeper look at the squares. The two in the middle were made by two completely different test subjects. By the way, the colors are not fully blended. You may have some opinions about them. Maybe you think they're kids. Take a minute and guess in your head who you think created these shades. I'm gonna take a leap of faith and guess that you got it wrong. <laughs> it's actually not even a person. I had my dogs create one using the lick painting method. I bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> Eating disorders are socially seen as a female disorder, but in reality, one in three people who suffer from an eating disorder are actually men. Unfortunately, men are less likely to seek help and get diagnosed because of this socially accepted female disorder. Eating disorders do not discriminate. They have the highest mortality rate of any other mental illness aside from opioid addiction. 70% of people do not seek treatment for their eating disorder due to the stigma that they encounter. That's 21 million people. How is it fair to millions of people who, who are suffering from that society can morph the reality of this disorder? It's not. And although we can't change this altogether, we can make a few small changes to get a little closer. First, we can educate. Rather than glamorize eating disorders, we can educate people on what eating disorders really are. Second, we can share. Share our knowledge about what eating disorders entail and how seriously they should be taken. And finally, we can accept and seek to understand rather than stigmatizing a psychological disorder. With these small steps, we can hopefully change the way that people perceive eating disorders and potentially help millions of people. Thank you.